Everything about this says exactly what I am and who I am as a person. It's my defining trait. <sighs> it's beautiful. Big too. Good morning, Africa. My name is Eleonora, and today is Tuesday, March 26th, 2024. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Do you have any books that you no longer want? Are they damage free? Donate them to the high school library. We are gathering gently used books from today until May 6th. We will not accept any torn or damaged books. All books donated will be used for a summer grabs event at the end of the school year where you can browse and take home as many books as you would like to keep for free. Have you ever been to a military base? The counseling office will be taking interested in students on a field trip to Fort Indian Town Gap on April 26th. During the visit, you will have a chance to learn about how the military can help you pay for your college full tuition. Try out multi-million dollar simulators such as a rifle range, tank operator, troop carrier, flight simulator, striker multi-person vehicle, and even eat an MRE, meal ready to eat for lunch. We went last year and the students who attended loved it. This trip is open to all 9th through 12th graders. If you are interested, please be sure to print out and return a permission form ASAP. These are available on Schoology or you can pick one up from the counseling office. On April 9th, 2024, the counseling office is taking a group of students to visit Kutztown University for the day. Please see Mr. Rouse's post in the Schoology class group for more details as well as a field trip permission form. The trip is primarily for 11th grade students but will op be open to 10th grade if there is still space available. Now over to Eleonora with the news. Go away. <laughs> Air Max Day is celebrated on March 26th with a design that has made it one of the most iconic sneakers in history. Nike is well known now and a lot of its fame is as a result of perfect branding. In the spring of 1972, Nike's infamous swoosh logo further fortified its brand's recognition. The name is an onomatopoeia of the sound when something pa rapidly passes by you, which makes the perfect fit for Air Max sneakers, which are designed for running. Now back to the main desk. It's still me. Underclassmen, please take a few minutes to review your course requests for the next year by logging into your PowerSchool portal. You can access requests by clicking on the class registration item under the navigation menu on the left where you selected your courses. If everything looks good, you are done. If you would like to change a non-teacher recommended course, just have your parent message your counselor with the courses that you would like to add and or drop. If you would like to switch a teacher recommended course, be sure to complete a yellow teacher recommendation change form available from the counseling office or on the counseling webpage. All change requests need to be made by April 2nd. If you have any questions, reach out to your counselor ASAP. Now over to a special segment, lunch and sports with Eleonora. Welcome to this year's March Madness Media Center style. We've already started some of our bracketology here. You can see the winners from some of our first week but the magic is not over yet. You can still vote the final weeks with our QR code, or if you're less tech savvy, you're welcome to come up and place your vote in the media center. Say walking tacos. Walking tacos. Say Papa John's pizza. Papa John's pizza. Crispy chicken wrap. Crispy chicken wrap. Fruit and yogurt parfait with muffin. Fruit and yogurt parfait with muffin. Barbecue chicken salad. Barbecue chicken salad. Refried beans. Refried beans. Mexican corn. 
Mexican corn. Grape tomates and dip. Grape tomates and dip. Assorted fresh fruit or 100% juice slash hip hop and slushy. Assorted fresh fruit. Or 100% juice slash hip hop slushy. You think it's awkward? Hold up. Sports. In sports action, baseball lost 10 to 6 at Warwick, tennis lost 3 to 4 at LS, and the volleyball lost 3 to 1 at Governor Mifflin. Yesterday, after the track and field team hosted Garden Spot to open the Section 2 season, both teams brought home victories with the boys winning by a score of 107.5 to 42.5 and the girls winning by a score of 104 versus 42. Event winners for the boys were the 4x800 relay team of Kyle Reidenbach, Quincy Myers, Samson Gibson, and Parker Luce. Nick Keller in the 100, 200, and 400 meter dash. Angel Colazzo Colin in the 100, 10, and, one, and 300 meter hurdles. Parker Luce in the 800 meter run. Kyle Reidenbach in the 3,200 meter run. The 4x400 relay team of Jeremiah Knowles, Angel Colazzo Colin, Marlo Perez, and Nick Keller. Toby Barrett in the long, triple, and high jump. Aaron Young in the pole ball, and Sam McCracken in the javelin. Event winners for the girls were the 4x800 relay team of Ella Fouts, Kayla Reidenbach, Kari Parsons, and Katie Brass. Lydia Shuck in the 100 hurdles and the triple jump. Gianna Long in the 100, 200, and 400 meter dash. Hannah Miller in the 1600. Ella Fouts in the 3,200 meter run. The 4x400 relay team of Marie McCracken, Kayla Reidenbach, Katie Browse, and Gianna Long. Lily Shuck in the high jump. Alexa Green in the javelin. And Sophia Rivera in the discus and put shot put. Next Tuesday, the track and field team will travel to Solanco. Attention all 2024 senior athletes planning on furthering their athletic career at the college level. NCAA Letter of Intent Signing Day will be held on Thursday, April 25th at 4.30 p.m. in the high school gym. Stop in the athletic office to pick up a participation form. And today, boys lacrosse is at home versus Penn Manor, and the girls are away at Penn Manor, and the volleyball is home versus Lebanon. Now back to the main desk. It is still me. It is Act Period 3 today. Have a DC trip Tuesday, Ephrata. Ephrata, please come back. I need help.